Hey everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, so we're gonna continue our talk with the privacy and anonymity using the Tor browser. Uh, last few session we talked about how to uh, use bridges and pluggable transport, how to configure into the Tor browser. And now uh, uh, probably next uh, week or so uh, will be a last session on, on how do we configure our Tor browser to maximize and optimize the security uh, before we start accessing the Onion services or the dark web. So today my agenda is or the goal is to discuss about like uh, once the browser is installed and, and running I want you to make sure uh, it's configured such a way that you maximize your security and maximize your privacy. Alright so let's get started. Uh, please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. Uh, comment if you have any questions and let's get into it. So the first thing I, I think the last time we did talk about this Tor circuit and, and like you know how it works and, and this is your first port which is uh, like as we saw in the previous like onion diagram it bounces off with the three different nodes. So this is your first node and then it goes to the Germany and then this is the exit node. So from US IP it goes to the destination which is here torproject.org. Now, one thing that uh, you would notice uh, if you go here, there is also an option for new identity. And then there is option for new Tor circuit for this site. Now, let's say if we click on new Tor circuit for the site, and if I click here again, it will give me a new IP or new nodes uh, where, where my browser will go through for the traffic. Now, the new identity in Oppos is even more secure option. So, new identity will give you, uh, as the name implies, it, it will uh, present you as a new person or the new entity browsing this website. Uh, the new circuit will only change the nodes. However, the new identity will will close everything, remove the history, remove the cache, everything, and then then start over. It's like you know uh, you are you are restarting or, or or rebooting your system. So that's that's another option. So uh, sometimes let's say you are not able to access certain site and and maybe uh, might ch changing it to the new identity might be helpful. Uh, this one we will discuss later on but uh, here uh, this one says this one denotes that our security level is currently configured as a standard if you want to change it you can click on here and then you can change between these three level as you can see if you click safer the, the like you know this shell will be half filled and if you do the safest it will be fully black colored but right now let's just keep it standard I think next session I'm gonna explain a bit more on what's the difference between these three options now let's go back to the top uh, one of the other configuration that you should be uh, performing before start uh, like you know accessing the dark web so one thing is uh, onion services so usually I keep it as always and and if you have question on what the onion services are so if you if you see here onion services formerly known as hidden services are like website that are only accessible through the Tor network how do we access it uh, it's as simple as that it's like you know instead of .com .org you will followed by the dot onion and that's where you will find it and then also some sites will require authentication so uh, you will be like you know you you might have a key that you have got from somewhere else or uh, whatever the way is but yeah usually if they ask for the authentication you can uh, you can also provide authentication and, and you can save your onion services keys uh, here uh, you can also save the keys uh, so that's that's the one recommendation like if possible onion services are more private it's hard to track uh, no one knows like who has deployed it etc right so there is no real ownership so that's why it's always better to uh, prioritize the onion services when you're accessing it uh, the second configuration I would say uh, history uh, so just select never remember history and this is uh, true not just for the Tor uh, but uh, specifically Tor because we are using this browser to be uh, fully anonymous uh, right so it, it doesn't make sense to uh, allow browser to remember the history so you want to do this uh, never remember history you might also want to do it in your in your day-to-day -day operations like when you're using Chrome or, or Firefox or Edge for doing uh, normal browsing activity so I'm gonna set it like never remember the history then next thing uh, of course just make sure uh, you are you you want to check the permissions for all of this you do not want to give permissions by default to any of this uh, settings uh, location camera because that will uh, violate the privacy uh, policy right uh, which will uh, which will defeat the purpose of using the tour uh, always make sure these are checked box. Uh, boxes are checked so block pop up windows and, and warn uh, then the website is trying to install the add-ons so and there should not be any exceptions unless you really trust the website or the website that you have built or own. 
uh, this is something we're gonna talk later on uh, this one you want to check the boxes if uh, uh, I think by default it's not checked uh, at least in the standard version so you do want to block the dangerous and deceptive content you want to block the dangerous download and and one you when unwanted or uncommon software so you want to make those checkbox and this one HTTPS only mode we have talked about this uh, in on our channel all the time so you do want to make sure you want to enable HTTPS mode in all the windows now windows if, if this one is using the windows system the tor, tor browser is using on the windows system uh, which is obviously not secure by default you do want to make sure you are always using HTTPS and the reason uh, what the what what it means is um, you can change your preference to HTTPS only mode this security enhancing mode forces all connection to website use HTTPS it doesn't like of course not all the websites uh, are on HTTP I think most of the websites nowadays are you supporting HTTPS however enabling this mode provides guarantee that all of your connections to websites are upgraded to HTTPS and hence secure so that's why I, I think uh, I would highly recommend to configure this now one thing you might have noticed uh, while I'm showing uh, recording this video that my screen is like I'm not I have not maximized the Tor browser uh, this browser itself and the reason being is sometimes if you maximize your browser uh, uh, the tracker can track based on the screen size that what kind of uh, device you are using or what kind of laptop that is etc right so uh, just to avoid that you want to mini uh, you don't don't want to use the maximize but you can like you know uh, set the height and, and length or the width of the browser uh, the way you like from this so do not use on the maximize mode if you if you really want to preserve your uh, privacy uh, next thing uh, on the tour settings uh, so this one we had checked earlier when we were using the bridge of course um, I, I can I can access all the website without using the bridge so I don't really need to check this box but if you have to uh, you can provide the bridge information here uh, this one is uh, what we have been doing in like you know uh, Firefox for the pen testing you can use this proxy uh, type the IP address username password etc to configure the proxy before going to the internet and then uh, some network administrator does protect uh, like you know traffic and only allow certain ports then in that case you can obviously uh, configure these ports and to bypass the firewall uh, in my case I can access the internet without uh, having any kind of restriction so I haven't done that but if you need to do that uh, definitely uh, configure this as well so I think yeah that, that's about it uh, I, I will I will uh, go and talk about like you know in more detail about what, what are these three different levels and we'll compare the difference between them in the next video I want to keep this very short but do make those changes and, and, and accept, uh, like settings whichever uh, I have recommended uh, uh, whenever we start like you know getting into the more advanced mode where we start accessing the dark web and, and doing more kind of operations I think that time these settings will be really helpful to you all so let me know if you have any questions if you like this video please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel I will see you guys next Monday bye